Hi there, just popping this up a minute. Welcome back to Steph's Life. Um, I just haven't done a video in a little bit of time and I wanted to do this video today. As you all know, I have been growing a lot of things upstairs. The stuff I haven't been keeping on filming just due to the fact that I thought that the allotment would never happen. Um, so of course I grew the stuff and I didn't want to film it just in case I had to explain whilst I grew the things and they all died. But I will show you today a little video on all I've got and I'll explain where they're going to roughly go and I've got a rough layout of the allotment now that I want and I'll explain the prices and probably how much you know it might cost I'm doing an estimate on this video it could cost a number of things um, I need to look into it a bit more so I'm only doing this video now because I rang up the council about five minutes ago and I asked them, would I be able to take the full video of the start to the finish? Now, obviously, you can't go around filming other people's allotments and saying things like, oh, that's rubbish, that's shit. And I get that. So I wouldn't be doing that anyway. And that's what the lady told me on the phone. I thought, oh, God, no, I wouldn't do that, you know, because that's not that's not me. So I've got permission. She said I need to double check with the guy at the start. So there'll be... Actually, I've forgotten his name already. That's really bad. So I'll check with him at the start. I've got a viewing on the 24th in the morning. Could be around 10, could be onwards. I've got a lot of time off. I've got about nearly two weeks off anyway at the end of this month. So it'll be good enough. So I've got the allotment. It's all in my name. There is a massive shed slash greenhouse on it. Unfortunately, I wanted to do a video on how to rebuild that, but it turns out that it's not safe and they need to take it down. So I have asked permission to get a video of all this happening. So if I ask the guy and he, he approves, then what I'll be doing is I'll be filming the council cleaning up and rotivating this and knocking down the shed and basically doing most of the hard heavy lifting and hard work as it goes on the ground. So if all goes well and I get the approval, then I'm going to be filming this as my biggest video yet. And when I say biggest video, I mean I've not filmed other people. I've not gone public with the filming. The lady on the phone said, oh my God, that's great. She was very happy. She said that's so inspirational, which was lovely. Um, so yeah, I just need the last approval from the guy that I go and see. She said it should all be fine. And I could maybe, I have to ask the workers as well. They'll need to ask them, can I film them? If so, I may get someone else to film me talking about the allotment because as a lot of you know, it's nice to see the person whilst they're talking about it. I might ask a friend to film me whilst I'm talking to the workers and seeing how the work's going and I might make it a big video. It might mean it ends up in two parts because a lot of you out there probably won't want to sit through a big video and I will be having to speed it up because you're not going to sit through days and days and days and days of work. So it will be parts of it, sped it up, parts of it and see how that goes. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it actually. Now, with the allotments, we I've got the layouts, which if you wait right here, I'm gonna go up and get them. They're on my bed, one minute. So, with the layouts for the allotment, I have got two copies, one for the council and one for me. Now, I did come up with a very fancy layout, but it turns out it would have cost me a fortune and it probably wouldn't have been done at least this year, maybe not next year. So it would have taken three years to pay for and that sort of allotment isn't really worth it. So these are identical copies, so I can put one down. That'll be for the council. Now, this allotment comes with a... It already comes with an apple tree, so that is a tree there. Obviously, it does say trees because we've got outside, which I'll show you, I bought a plum and I bought a pear tree. But they won't have a lot of fruit this year. They will fruit, but they won't have much because they're only about this high off the ground. With the pot, they're probably that high. Um, they've only got two branches on one and three branches on another. Whilst the apple tree is quite big, it was beautiful every year, it was beautiful. What they did is they cut it down because there was wild blackberries that were growing around the tree and up the tree. So in order to get the blackberries away, they hacked a bit of the tree down, which I'm a little bit upset about. But that's nature, I suppose they don't want the tree getting too big. So in a few years time, that tree is going to look beautiful again and it will recover. 
trees are very hardy. So that's the tree down there. And the other two trees we're thinking are probably going to be here because we're going to remove the blackberries, which are here. And I'm going to give them to my mum because my boyfriend doesn't seem to like blackberries. I'm not a fan of the taste myself and he doesn't like the spikes. And to be honest, I don't think anybody likes getting pricked by a blackberry bush. So I think it's best to have a little tiny orchard with the other two trees. Now, normally you're only allowed two trees in the allotment, but they told me that this plot didn't come with a tree. And the plot is number nine. They said it didn't come with the tree. So basically they said there wasn't a tree there. So I went and bought a pear and a plum. And now we find out that there is a tree there. So I'm going to just ask again permission if I can put a third tree in on the basis that I was told that there was not a tree originally there. I kind of knew there was because I knew what plot number nine was. But they told me there wasn't. So I went and bought one anyway. Because I would have thought they would have taken it out if that was the case. So... What I'm going to do is just apply and it should all be fine. They should let me. If so, if there's any problems, what I'll do is I'll get a really, really, really big pot and put it in the pot and it will still grow through and I'll leave it at the allotment. So it should all be fine. So now you know where roughly where the trees are going to go. The shed is here. Be in front of this tree. It's very close. It's really big, really beautiful. Unfortunately, it's been neglected for years. It's not the council's fault because when you have the allotment and you pay for it and it becomes yours, it's your responsibility to maintain that. If you don't maintain it, then these things happen. It rots away. So that was another expense I was going to pay for is to get it rebuilt. It was going to end up probably being more expensive than buying a shed in the first place. So now I need to get diameters and well, I need to get measurements based on what I can buy. If the council have, they have a set limit now on what size you can get. And they like it relatively small. I, to be honest, and so do my boyfriend, we both want a greenhouse, maybe a polytunnel, rather than a shed, because we think they're quite cool. And when you've got little seedlings that you want to grow before they go in the allotment, they've got that extra shelter and the natural light. So you'd be able to grow things like I've been doing in my bedroom, but on the allotment at the same time. So that's the plan there. That might cost £70 to buy, maybe 100 It could be 150 But these are budgeters. I've got that wrong. These are budgets that we have to maintain. So it might not be that we get it next month. It might mean that we wait another month to buy it. And then the beds, as we've laid out here, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, what... Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So on this, we have 11 beds. Now, the reason we have 11 beds is because this is the measurements of the beds. So the measurements say 1.5 meters times by 3.0 meters. So that is how big each bed can be. Um, the council have also said that we can use chippings for the footpath. In amongst it all, we've got big space in between each one so we can easily walk in between them and get the wheelbarrow to them because the wheelbarrow needs plenty of space to go between the beds so we can get there. Now, originally that wasn't going to be the plan. I was going to make it a bit more laid out so you've got some middle part. But each, each one of those beds is going to cost me. So this year, I'm probably going to buy two to three beds and raise them up this year but then keep the rest on the ground level. And then next year, I'm going to do the same. And then the following year, I'm going to do the same. So if I buy, let's say, three a year, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's three years. And then the following year, I can buy an extra two. Within four years' time, I'll have all my beds raised and in there. Then at the top here, it comes with a compost heap already. So what I was going to do, the compost heap is already broken, it's not standing upright. What we'll probably end up doing is removing all the compost, the council will take it away because it's been there for too long and if you have compost there for too long, there could be anything living underneath. So the council have said they're going to clean that for me and take away the fencing. So we know roughly where the old compost will be, so we're going to build a new compost on top of that. And that will have to be built this year. So on top of the three beds I'm going to buy this year, I'm also going to be buying the compost. So, not the compost itself, but you know the wood to build the compost. So what we've decided to do is split it into two. So as you can see, this is one big compost. We're going to cut it down the middle. So one year, you can use, let's say, this half and build that up for one year. The following year, you build it on the other half. So... Basically, when you're building up the other one next year, you'll have that compost that was there from last year to use on your veg. 
and hopefully in doing so it will allow your veg that year to grow a little bit better now i have heard of getting little my mum gets compost in little pellets now i want to do the research i've heard they're quite good but i don't want to get something that's going to necessarily not really help so i don't want to use any harmful chemicals this is about natural growing and maybe I don't get compost, maybe I make my own compost, I don't know, this is all an adventure for me, I'll probably try a product and then not want it next year because it didn't do its job, and I'll probably end up doing that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, it might have gone on, for, oh it has gone on for 10 minutes, so it's not too long, and I hope to see you in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe down below, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.